Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Art Benjamin, and I am a mathemagician. What that means is I combine my loves of math and magic to do something I call mathemagics. But before I get started, I'm going to need some people from the audience with calculators, and my assistant David found some students for me. Would you bring them up to stage, and let's give them a nice round of applause. Great. Over on this side, please. One more round of applause for our brave volunteers. Thank you very much. All right. Now, since I have not had the chance to work with these calculators, I first need to make sure they are all working properly. Would somebody, say, in the first row get us started by giving us a two-digit number, please? Yell out a two-digit number. 22. 22. And another person, another two-digit number. Multiply 22 times 57. Make sure you get 1,254 exactly, or the calculators are not working. Do all of you get 1,254, 1,254? Give them a round of applause. <laughs> now, I noticed that took some of you just a little bit of time to get your answer. That's OK. I'll give you a shortcut for multiplying even faster on the calculator. There's something called the square of a number, which most of you know is taking a number and multiplying it by itself. For instance, 5 squared would be 25. Now, the way we can square on these calculators, most of them, I think, actually have x squared buttons on them that allow you to do the problem even faster. What I'm going to try and do is to square in my head, well, I guess we've got six, six people, six two-digit numbers, faster than they can do on their calculators, even using the shortcut method. What I'll ask is, let's say, let's get the next six people in the front row, each yell out a two-digit number, and if you would square the first, the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth one, I will try and race you to the answer. So uh, a two-digit number, please. 37 squared, OK, next. 71, next. 43, next. 29, next. 85, next. One more. 32. Would you call out your answers, please? 1,369. 1,369. 5,041. 1,849. 1,849. Yo, you did the same number. 1,849. Okay, what did you get? 7225, and one more? 1,024. 1,024. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> David, since you missed that problem, you are off the island. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. sorry. Now, I noticed that took some of you just a little bit of time to get the answer. Uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this a little bit more, uh, little, little bit more of a challenge. I'm going to try to square some three-digit numbers this time. I'm not even going to write these down. I'm just going to call them out as they're called out to me. Anyone I point to call out a three-digit number. Anyone on our panel verify the answer. If I get the answer right, give me a thumbs up. If I make a mistake, let me know, and I'll try and fix it. A three-digit number, please. 487 squared is 237,169. 237169. Yes, good. Another, uh, another three digit number, please. 562. 562 squared, I think, is 315,844. 315844. Good. Another three digit number, sir. 747. 747 is 558,009. 558009. Yes, good. How about, another, how about another three digit number, sir? 999. 999 is 998,001, but everybody gives me that one. One more three digit number, sir. 546 is 294,116. Yes? Thank you very much. Let me try to take this one step further. I'm going to try to square a four digit number this time. Now, I'm not going to beat you to the answer on this one. Well, except maybe you, David, but that's okay. <laughs> Just kidding. But I will try to get the answer right. Um, let's take four people in the first row here. If we can go uh, one, two, three, four. If you'd each call out a single digit between 0 and 9, that will be the four-digit number that I'll square. 9, nine. Seven. Seven. 4, three. Four. 3. Oh, that's a hard one. This will take me a little bit of time, so bear with me. 94 million. 
922,049. Ooh, 26,049. I forgot to carry the four. Okay, let me try that again. I do occasionally make mistakes, like picking the wrong people. Uh, <laughs> let's try, uh, let's go to this side. How about, uh, how about the second row? First four of you call out a single digit, please. Seven. seven. Four. four, five, S seven. Seven, four, five, seven. Okay, here we go. 55 million. 606,849. Good. Thank you. Now, I would attempt to square a five digit number, and I can, but unfortunately, most calculators cannot. They run out of room, eight-digit capacity, although I think yours will go higher. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, let's conclude the first part of my show by trying something a little trickier. I'm going to take a random number. Let's take the number that's showing up right here on the timer, 1251. You all see 1251 there? Each enter the number 1251 on your calculator. And instead of squaring it this time, I'd like you to multiply that by any three-digit number that you'd like. But don't tell me what you're multiplying by. Just multiply it by any random three-digit number. So you should have as an answer either a six-digit or possibly a seven-digit number. Uh, how many digits do you each have? Six digits? Six, 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 six? Is there any possible way that I could know what six-digit numbers they have? Say no. Good. Then I shall attempt the impossible, or at least the improbable. What I'd like each of you to do is to call out for me any five of your six digits, any five of them, in any order you'd like. One digit at a time, I shall try and determine the digit you've left out. So starting with your six-digit number, call out any five of them, please. Two, eight, six, four, eight. Did you leave out the number eight? Yes. Good, that's one. You've got a six-digit number, any five of yours, please. You didn't even look at your numbers. 51562. Did you also leave out the number 8? Yes. Good. That's 2. You've got a 6 digit number. Any 5 of them, loud and clear. 05465. Did you leave out the number 7? Yes. That's 3. You've got a, a 6 digit number, David. Any 5 of them, in any order? 31758. I think you left out the number 3. Good, that's four of them so far. The odds of me getting all six of these by pure guessing would be one in a million, 10 to the sixth power. Okay, any five of your numbers, any, any order. Three, six, two, four, three. Three, six, two, four, three. Let me think about that one. I will get back to you. Finally, you've got a six digit number. Any five of them, really scramble them up this time. Five, nine, four, three, five. I think you left out the number one. Okay, now that's five of them. I got one troublemaker left over. Do me a favor, if you would, concentrate on the digit you left out. Doesn't do any good, it just looks dramatic. <sighs> but uh, I'm not getting much of anything. Did you leave out a zero? Because I was getting a lot of nothing, and now I know why. Let's give all six of these people a nice round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you. Watch your step as you go down. Thank you. Well, for my next number, <laughs> I'd like to present something we mathemagicians refer to as magic squares. How many of you out there have done Sudoku before? This is kind of like Sudoku on steroids, and you'll see what I mean by that in just a moment. But for, I've done such an extensive study on magic squares that I'd like to create one for all of you right before your very eyes. But for this, I'll need another assistant, someone I do not know. Let's see, how do you not know you, you in the yellow shirt? Would you join me here? Let's give her a nice round of applause. <laughs> Among the many yellow shirts in the audience, thank you. And what's your name? Casey. Casey, if you would stand right there. Is that C-A-S-E-Y? Spelling was not my best subject in school. Casey, I'm going to ask you a question, and if it's too personal, I can change the question. Casey, are you willing to share with us your birthday, including the year? Uh, March 1st, 1999. March 1st, 3-1-1999. So 3-1-99, that's your birthday? Yes. 
Casey, what I'm going to try and do is to fill out this box in such a... It, well, well, first of all, before I go any further, if we add the numbers in your birthday together, 3, 1, 9, and 9, add those together, we get 22. So, Casey, 22 becomes your magic number. What I'm going to try and do now, Casey, is to fill out this box in such a way as to get your magic number appearing here as much as I possibly can. This will take me a couple seconds, so bear with me. Okay. Uh, Casey, um, would you choose for us any row? Row number two, three, or four, which would you like? Two. two. All right, class. Eight plus ten is eighteen. Plus two is twenty. Plus two is twenty-two. The others were three, four, thirteen, twenty-two, ten, twenty, twenty, twenty-two, one, two, fourteen, uh, one, two, thirteen, twenty-two. Would you choose a column, Casey? One, two, three, or four? Four, all right, class. Nine plus two is 11, plus two is 13, plus nine is 22. The others were three, 11, 21, 22, one, 11, 21, 22, nine, 11, 11, 22. How about that? Now, Casey, I'm not through with you. I decided that since this was, you, this was your magic square, based on your birthday, at no extra charge, I would give you these diagonals as well. Check it out here. 1 plus 10 is 11, plus 2 is 13, plus 9 is 22, 3, 13, 13, 22. But I didn't stop there either. I decided that since this was for Casey, wouldn't it be great if we could get these four in the center to add up as well? Check it out here. 10 plus 2 is 12, plus 0 is 12, plus 10 is 22. But did I stop there? Did I stop there? No. Casey, you may have noticed I put a little extra attention in that Corner. I did that so I could get these four squares. 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 10 is 14, plus 8 is 22 to add up. And I figured, heck, as long as we got that group of four, let's have a party. We may as well get this group of four. 9, 18, 20, 22, 10, 20, 21, 22, 0, 2, 11, 22. But did I stop there? No, I said Casey wouldn't be happy unless we got this group of four, 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 this group of four. Now I have to apologize, Casey. I was not able to get this group of four nor that group of four to add up, but I had to do it that way. If I was going to get these four in the corners, I knew that would be important to you. 3, 12, 21, 22. But wait, here's the cool part. Casey, not only do those four numbers in the corners add to 22, if you look at them closely, you'll see we have 3, 1, 99. I was able to give you your birthday a second time. I thought you'd like that. So please keep this as a souvenir for me. Let's all give Casey a nice round of applause. Do I have time for the birthday thing? Oh, do I have time for the birthdays? Hey, speaking of birthdays, by any chance, does anyone here happen to know the day of the week that they were born on? If you think you know your actual birthday and you're willing to reveal it, raise your hand. All right, starting with you, what year, if I may? 1967, and what month? February, February what? 23rd, was that a Thursday? Yes, good. Somebody else. Uh, yes, please. What year? Yell it out. 99. 99. And the month? Uh, April. April what? 13th. Was that a Tuesday? Good. How about one more? Okay, white shirt. Yes, yell it out, please. Uh, 93. 93. Hang on. Okay, and what month? December, December what? Third. Was that a Friday? Yes, it was also my daughter's birthday. <laughs> Thank you all very much. <laughs> Folks, I'd like to wrap things up by doing one last thing for you that I alluded to earlier when we had some of the calculators on stage that could do ten, uh, that could square five-digit numbers or higher. I'm going to try to square a five-digit number now, but to make my job more interesting for you as well as for me, I'm going to do this last problem thinking out loud. So you can actually honestly hear what's going on in my mind while I do a calculation of this size. Uh, now let's, let's use the second row on this side, if I can get the first five of you to yell out a single digit. That will be my five digit numbers. Go ahead. Seven. Seven. Three. Five. What was the number was that? Five. five, you said? Okay, five. Nine. Nine. Eight. 
73,598 squared. Hum. Let me explain to you how I'm going to attempt this problem. I'm going to break the problem down into three parts. I'll do 73,000 squared plus 598 squared plus 73,000 times 598 times 2. Add all those numbers together and with any luck arrive at the answer. Now let me recap. Thank you. <laughs> While I explain something else. As I do this last calculation, you might hear certain words as opposed to numbers creep into the calculation. Let me explain what that is. This is a phonetic code, a mnemonic device that I use that allows me to convert numbers into words. I store them as words and later on retrieve them as numbers. I know it sounds complicated. It's not. I just don't want you to think you're seeing something out of Rain Man here. There's definitely a method to my madness. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> One last instruction for my judges with calculators. How many of you have calculators with an answer out there? I see a few hands. Okay. Um, you should have a 10-digit number, probably begins with a 5, ends with a 4. In between, I don't know yet. There's at least a 50% chance that I will make a mistake somewhere in between. If I do, don't tell me what the mistake is. Just say you're close or something, and I'll try and figure it out by myself, which can be pretty entertaining in itself. If, however, I am right, whatever you do, don't keep it to yourselves. <laughs> make sure everybody knows that I got the answer right, because this is my big finish, OK? So without any more stalling, here we Go. I'll start the problem in the middle with 73 times 598. That's 600 minus 2. I'll take advantage of that. Now, 73 times 600 is 43,800 minus 146 is 43,654. 43,654, double that to get 87,308. 87,308 becomes fog, massive. Fog, massive is, um, is 87,308. That seems right. I'll go on. Fog, massive. Okay. Next, I do 73 squared, which is 5329. So I can say, 5 billion. Take the 329, uh, take the 329, add that to fog. 329 plus 807 and, and, and is uh, 416 million. Massive, massive. Okay, finally we do, um, we do 598 squared. That's 600 times 596 plus 2 squared. It's 357,604. Chaser, if I need a chaser, take the 357, add that to massive to get 665,000. A 604? Yes! Good! Thank you all very much. I hope you enjoyed Mathematics. I'm Arthur Benjamin. Thank you.